Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to do kind of a different video. I wanted to answer some of our frequently asked questions. These are questions that we get in our YouTube comments, questions that we get in our Discord, questions that people ask us like through our, our website and everything. And I just want to like make one big video so that we're all on the same page. Of course, you guys can ask whatever you want and we'll keep answering them. But I just want to make sure that everyone kind of is on the same page about these commonly asked questions. My name is Maggie and me and my brother John run this YouTube channel as well as kind of all the other businessy aspects. My cat's jingling. I'm so sorry. Coco, chill bro. We were professional MCAT tutors and now we are medical students, but we decided to basically just do everything that we were doing for our tutored students and put it on YouTube and give it away for free. So now on to some of our most popular questions. Number one most popular question we get is do me and John tutor? The short answer is no. Like I said, we used to be professional tutors and we've tutored a ton of students together and that's how we feel comfortable tutoring this subject to so many people on the internet. But we are just currently too busy with medical school to take on any private tutoring students of our own right now. I do kind of feel like private tutoring is a little bit of a luxury for um, MCAT prep and it's not something that's like absolutely necessary. Um, some students get more out of it than others. I don't feel like it's something that has to be involved in the like baseline program. However, there are aspects of private tutoring that are helpful and so me and John have some plans to possibly get something going in the future with something like group tutoring um, but that will be a little bit down the line and um, you can check out our progress as far as all of our new projects and everything on our website or we'll be making videos about it so stay tuned for that. So question number one, do me and John tutor? No we do not, I'm so sorry. Question number two is probably our second most popular question, and it's can our program be modified? Say you only have three months to study. Say you have six months to study. Say you're working full time. Can this program be modified for you? And absolutely it can. The most popular way that I recommend that people go about this is we tell you to watch a certain number of Khan Academy videos, right? Well, all that we did is decide like a timeline for you guys to watch these videos added up all the videos that are on Khan Academy and then like divided them into an equal number of videos a day. So you can definitely do that for yourself with however many days of content review that you decide that you can give to MCAT prep. The only part that's going to be a little bit more difficult to modify is the final month and you can definitely lengthen it out, but it's a little bit harder to shorten it. Since you are taking a practice exam like almost every day and um, our program I think does like um, a six week I think is the baseline and that has you taking like two or three tests a week. So that's already a lot. You can shorten it to about four. That's about as short as you can get. And that's taking a practice test. I think it ends up being every other day. So you review one every other day and you have one rest day a week. So can you do this while you're working? Yes, you can. Of course, you guys know your schedules better than I do. So it's kind of hard for me to put a blanket statement out there of how to do this while you're working. But everything's pretty much doable in your free time. Um, the only part that's going to be a little bit difficult, again, is taking those practice tests because you do have to sit down and, you know, for seven or eight hours, take a practice exam. So finding time to do that while you're also working full time might be a bit of a challenge. Of course, if you have a little bit longer to study, like you have six months or seven months or something, then it's going to be a lot easier to fit in uh, those practice exams on weekends or days that you have off or something like that. So that's, that's how we recommend doing that. So absolutely, yes, our program can be modified. You can make it shorter or longer, however you please. And also like say, say you're like a biochemistry major or something and you're like, I don't need to cover amino acids again. I know amino acids or I know protein structure or something. Then you don't have to watch those videos. Like, I mean, we, we tell you guys to watch these based on a blanket statement, based on the generic student, but you guys know yourselves better than we do. So modify it as you see fit. Just know that what we recommend is going through every video and doing every Anki card, et cetera, et cetera, just to make sure that you got it. All right. The third question that we get asked is how long should Anki take? And this is a really like personal question because if you have modified this and you're watching more videos a day than we recommend and you're doing more Anki cards, then obviously Anki is going to take longer. 
I think when I was studying, Anki on a short day took 30 minutes. Anki on a long day took three or four hours. It just really depends. I also was very anal about my Anki cards. Like I had an Anki card that just said, um, I didn't do the milestone deck, by the way. I did. I made my own cards. Um, and so I had a card that said, um, glycolysis, like name everything. And I would go through and while that card was up, I would like write out all of glycolysis. And so that card itself took like five minutes to do or something most of the time. So on a day where I had a lot of those pathways, a lot of biochemistry type stuff um, that I was like drawing out, then it took me a lot longer to do Anki than say if it was like a psych so heavy day, which is like my, my comfort zone and is pretty much just like a, a flashcard. So basically don't feel bad if it takes you uh, two hours to do Anki because in the grand scheme of things, like that's, that's two hours of studying. I know sometimes Anki can feel like it's just a barrier that you have to cross to get to your real studying, but Anki is like a core component of studying both for the MCAT and like now in medical school, I spend a few hours every day doing Anki and it helps solidify all those things that I learned before so that I don't forget them while I'm showing new material in my brain. And it's very important that we remember everything that we went over in the beginning, especially because I'm pretty sure the first thing y'all watch is like some of the most high yield stuff. So you'll have plenty of time to review that over the course of however long you're studying. So how long should Anki take? That's a really personal question. I take like two hours a day in medical school. Um, so don't feel bad if it's taking you a little while. Another question, should you supplement our program? I guess this means like with outside, uh, books like, uh, like your Kaplan or your, um, you know, if you have blueprint tet, uh, tests or something, our mission, our mission here is to make the MCAT affordable and accessible to everybody and to stop charging out the A for MCAT prep when you do really don't need to. There's a lot of free, free resources on the internet. So we are never going to tell you that if your roommate has a Kaplan book or an Altius book to not use that, because if that's free to you, or if you already have it, or if you can afford it, then sure, that's fine. We are trying to say that you don't need it and that our program is complete on its own. But if you want to supplement, absolutely feel free to supplement with whatever. We are not going to um, endorse any one specific uh, program or anything like that. The best thing for you is whatever you can get your hands on. So should you supplement our program? Absolutely, if you can. Um, it's not going to make it any better or worse in my opinion, but... I guess it can't hurt. Another question that we get sometimes is do me and John actually do our strategies that we tell you guys to do on test day? Did we actually write out our main idea? Come on. Did we actually do our flow chart? Yes, we did. <laughs> I know speaking from my personal experience, every practice test that I did, every practice cars passage that I did, every practice BB, everything, I always did my strategies. And I know it takes a long time at first. When you're first learning to flow chart, you write everything down under the sun because you think it's all important. When you first start doing cars, you're not that quick at reading yet. Like your mind trails off and then you find that you've wasted 15 seconds thinking about what you're going to eat later. And that kind of stuff just gets better with practice. The thing you need to do is to practice and is to force yourself to flow chart and is to force yourself to, uh, actually come up with in your head and then put down on paper so that you know you've done it, your main idea in cars. Every strategy that we tell you guys to do, we did on test day, I promise you. You get faster at doing it and you find that it's much more helpful. Like flow charting now, I might not do that much flow charting, but what I do is stuff that helps me answer questions later on. Now, when I first started, again, I was writing down everything, but I started to see the patterns in the things that they would ask me. I started saying, am I really confused about that? Do I really need to write that down? Do I really need to make sure I understand this relationship? Because I'm pretty sure I do understand it. So then I decided not to write those things down. But what I do write down is things that I'm getting confused on, things that are putting a kink in my brain when I'm thinking about this passage. Um, it's getting it's getting kinked up in there. And so I need to get it out on paper. That's the kind of stuff I flowchart. And so I absolutely did flowchart on test day and John did too. 
and we recommend that you guys do as well. And it just, it's only better if you do it with every practice passage, you only get better and faster and you find a lot more efficacy out of the strategy. Now I'm going to answer some questions that like nobody has asked us so much for an FAQ video, but I think that they are important um, things to answer. And one of those is the best way to contact me and John. Every like time that y'all comment on our videos or that y'all message the discord or anything like that, it's me and John that's responding. I just want to put that out there. So we really try to stay on top of like YouTube comments and things like that. And we do a decent job, but every so often, like we're busy, it's a test block or something like that. And, and we do get behind on that kind of stuff. So I, I would say the best way to contact us is to spam us. Honestly, you can comment on our videos. We're pretty good at responding to comments. You can join our discord, which I recommend that you do because it's a nice community in there. Um, and the link to join the discord will be in the description of like almost every one of our videos, including this one. So just hop in there and say hello. Me and John are pretty good about answering the discord, but also if you have like a content question or something, I've started to notice that other students are starting to answer content questions and that that's like really helpful because I mean that peer learning, like God, it is, that's amazing. I couldn't have asked for something better to come out of this, of the discord other than peer learning. I will say some people have like reached out on our website and I think there's like a little form that you can submit with like a question or something. Me and John are pretty shoddy at answering those emails. I'm going to be honest. We get a bunch of like spam emails from that. And so it's kind of hard to like sift through the email and like decide what's spam and what's not. So really I would recommend like commenting on our YouTube videos or joining the discord and messaging us. And you can even personal message like the IFD or, um, John's personal account in there. I wanted to briefly mention how our channel is organized because I feel like a lot of people will comment on our videos and be like, uh, really wish that you had, um, you know, more videos on math or something like that. So I would recommend if you were looking for a video, everything in our channel is organized by playlists. It's gotten a little bit confusing because we organized the different weeks of our program into playlists and those are named aptly week zero, week one, week two, whatever. And that was just for ease of following the program. That's, there's no other purpose for those playlists. But if you want more uh, sample test breakdowns, we have a playlist for it. If you want more math videos, we have a playlist for it. It's called, I'm pretty sure it's called math videos. We're not the most creative bunch. If you want to know if there's a video on, um, you know, Piaget's stages of development, then go to our high yield sciences. If you want like any like sciencey videos that you think we might have a video on that will be in like our high yield sciences playlist. If you want to know more strategies, we have a strategies playlist. I just recommend going to our playlist tab and kind of searching through and looking through there because um, I know that it can be kind of annoying to have to like scroll through all our videos because we don't post them in any specific order. I think I answered most of the frequently asked questions or the questions that I thought were important to answer. Um, but if you guys are wanting an answer to anything, then just, like I said, just comment on our videos below or join our discord and ask the question in there. Um, we're pretty good about getting back to those. This might've been like not that helpful of a video, but, um, I don't know. Let us know in the comments what you want to see next. I can guarantee that if you did not find this video very helpful, you'll find the next one helpful. But until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.